Today on Nestle Labs, we're pushing the human body to the extreme, taking a look at the muscular and skeletal system. Let's go. Keep an eye out for these keywords in today's lesson. Skeletal system, muscular system, contract. The skeletal system is made up of all the bones in the body. A human adult has about 206 bones. The main job of the skeletal system is to keep the body shape and to protect vital organs. Without a skeleton, your body would be very soft. You'd be nothing more than a puddle of muscle and skin. Some animals, like jellyfish, have no skeleton. They just float around and hold no definite shape. The muscular system is all the muscles in our body. Our muscles allow our skeleton to move around and allow us to perform everyday tasks. Your muscles move by tightening or relaxing. Let's use having a snack as an example. As I reach my arm out to grab the apple, the muscle on the back of my arm, called the tricep, contracts or tightens, allowing my arm to reach out to grab the apple. When I do grip the apple, as I tighten my fingers on it, muscles in my forearm will contract as well giving me a nice strong grip on the apple. As I lift the apple towards my mouth, the tricep relaxes and the bicep on the inside of the arm contracts to pull the apple towards my mouth. Once the apple is up to your mouth, powerful muscles in your jaw will bite down to rip off a chunk of the apple. You can feel these muscles. Put your hand against the side of your mouth and take a bite of something. These muscles contract and relax to help you open and close your mouth. Your muscles work together, contracting and relaxing, allowing you to accomplish all kinds of everyday tasks. Most of the time our muscles are used for everyday things like walking, talking, and eating. But the human body is capable of some pretty incredible things. To push our body to the limit, we're traveling to Narragansett, Rhode Island to track down the man who made human flight possible. Legendary Dunker, T. Welsh. Let's run that back and break it down. Scanning in progress. As he approaches the hoop, he contracts the major muscle groups in his leg. By contracting these muscles, he's able to get the elevation needed to dunk the ball. Now it's time for you to push your body to the extreme. We're going to check in with Coach Lisbona to see what kind of at-home activity he has for us this week. What's up, everybody? Coach Lisbona here hitting a wall seat, okay, working my quads. They're right there contracting really hard. Ooh, I can feel them burning more and more as it's going on, okay? And the reason that's happening is because you're losing oxygen in those muscles. Make sure when you're doing a wall seat that your quads are parallel to the ground and that your back is flush up against the wall and you're not resting your arms here. So you can be here or you can be here. Doing a push-up hold, so I'm not all the way down, I'm not all the way up, I'm halfway down, and I am using my tricep muscles, I'm using my biceps a little bit, I'm using my deltoids, I'm using a little bit of my back, and I'm gonna try to hold it here halfway for as long as I can, or until I can't hold it, uh, yeah. Our muscular system and our skeletal system work together to perform all types of tasks. Next time you're out running or dunking or even just eating a snack, you can thank your muscular and skeletal system for making it all possible.
terrible apple. Ugh. Can't get strong with these apples. Your muscles work together, either contracting. Your mother, your mother works with some people too.